So I'm constantly looking for ways to improve my channel, and one way that I want to try to promote to subscribe to my channel is by making my own custom subscription little animation thing. And I don't have motion or after effects or anything like that. And to find one of those really cool subscribe clicky things online that I actually liked was kind of difficult. Now there's tons of them on YouTube that use a similar method to what I'm using here today, but I didn't really like the looks of those or the way that they were customized. So I decided to make my own and today I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So what's going on everyday people? I'm Chad Thompson. Today I want to show you how to make this really cool subscribe animation. It's relatively easy to do. You just need a couple of things. One, you need a screen recording software. You also need Final Cut Pro because that's what we're going to be teaching today. And then just follow along with this tutorial. And there you go. You can create your own custom little animation thingy to make people want to subscribe to your channel. If you want to learn how to do this tutorial, keep watching and let's hop right into it. Okay, so this is a relatively simple process. So the first thing you want to do is get your screen recording software up and going. I'm using QuickTime Player. That's just what works on my Mac, so I've already got that recording right now. Then, once you get that up and going, you want to go to your YouTube channel from a different account. This is my test account here. So, what I would do at this point is come up to my page, make sure I'm not already subscribed, and then I would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then, as soon as I hit that, I'm going to kind of make it obvious that I'm going over to this bell notifications here. And I'm going to go ahead and click that as well so everybody sees that I've got my notifications on and I'm subscribed. At that point, you could quit your screen recording and then go ahead and export that file, save it to your desktop. So that way we can pull it into Final Cut Pro that we're going to be editing today. So I've already recorded this once. I'll go ahead and play this through. It was about 10 seconds long because my cut was a little bit rough. But go ahead and find your cut where you want it to be. I'm going to say right about here. I would say that would be a good cut. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit Command B to go ahead and cut that uh, particular scene there. Just delete that away. So now our thing here is probably about 10 seconds long. Make sure you get both the clicks of the bell and the subscribed. And that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and cut that there. You know, maybe around eight to 10 seconds is pretty nice. So now that we have this, what I did was go ahead and make this into two layers. So I hit Command C to copy, start over here at the beginning, hit Command V. So that just gives us two layers to work with. And the reason that we're doing these two layers is what I'm gonna do is take this first layer and I'm gonna go ahead and crop that layer. So that way all that you see is just kind of like this chat every day over here on the side. I'm gonna hit enter to go ahead and crop that. And then I'm going to go on the bottom layer and I'm going to crop it over closer to where the subscribe is. Now, basically what I'm going to do with these two layers is just transform, use the transform tool here and slide this over. So that way they're closer together. You know, I don't want there to be like this massive uh, gap in between. So once those get lined up perfectly, just go ahead and hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is select both clips, right click. And then I'm going to click new compound clip. So it's a little bit easier to work with. And then with this compound click selected, I'm just going to hit the transform tool. I'm going to move this to the location where I want it to show up in my videos, which is the bottom left hand corner. And then underneath this layer, we're going to go over to our uh, solid uh, generators here. I'm just going to grab this one. It says iMovie, the green one, and then make sure it's the same length as this video file. So I'm going to hit command B to cut, delete all that away. And at this point, I'm gonna export this out. So let's go ahead and do an export really quickly. So master file, I'm gonna call this subscribe underscore green screen. And I'm just gonna hit next to save this. I'm just gonna save it straight to my desktop and I'll be back in just a second. All right, and to test our file out, what I'm gonna do is just grab some old footage I had here. I'm gonna go to my finder. Let's run to the desktop really quickly. And then I'm gonna get the chad every day let's see the subscribe green screen that we just made and i'm going to drag this onto the new footage right where i want it to start go ahead and make sure there's no volume on here whatsoever so what we need to do is go into our effects panel go to all and then down here at the bottom i'm just going to type in keyer so we're just going to drag a keyer on top of that it's going to key away all the green and then i think for mine i like to add a little drop in effect on the beginning part i'm going to delete the one here on the end i'm going to do dissolves cross-dissolve, and now let's play it and see what happens. 
So it's pretty cool. It drops right in. You can see it click on subscribe, see it click on the bell notifications, and then slowly it just kind of fades away. So it's a really subtle thing that you can add into your video clips. You can create it on your own. You can use any transitions or effects and make it look however you like. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope this tutorial helped you out on something that you want to create that's very similar. Now, even if you don't want to create it exactly the same way I did, you can use the same steps involved to create your own look that's custom to you. That's one of the things I love the most. Rather than just going online and finding something that already exists and just kind of taking what everybody else is using and then turning it into your own thing that way, why don't you just make something new? That's kind of what we say at the end of every single one of these videos is create something new today because at the end of the day, when you make something yourself, it just feels a lot nicer. It's more customized to you and you can make it exactly how you want it without using all these other cookie cutter things that already exist. If you did like today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and as always, be sure to create something new today.